Yeah, well, I have some good and bad news of my own. We'll start with the bad news. MDOT says it needs about $50 million to put one of these portable generators at every single pump house they have. You know, they have about 140 in Metro Detroit. The good news is Congresswoman Debbie Dingell says the request has been made of the federal government to get some of that money here to our state to potentially get that done. The open question is how long it will take. And that's something, of course, we'll be asking about continuously. Right now, though, as some of the freeways actually remain closed, there are also streets like this that are still impassable. And that boat you see in the background, no, that's not on a lake or river. It's on a street in Dearborn Heights because it's not once every 100 years. For us in Michigan this year, it's every day. MDOT says we saw massive flooding on every major freeway except 275. 94 in the Dearborn, Detroit area to the east side, 75, 696. Pockets all the way into downtown. Southfield Freeway in Detroit, Allen Park, Dearborn. Uh, Southfield floods under the underpasses every single time it rains. I thought coming back from down river, which 75 is closed again too, 94 is closed at points, Southfield had reopened, but it's still closed at Ford Road. I mean, we can't live this way, We, but we got to work it together. We asked MDOT, what's the deal? It, it was just everywhere at one time. We got such a large volume of water in a short amount of time and without any power operating at a majority of our pump houses, we were not able to pump that water off. MDOT says before this year, it had four to six portable generators, which had been sufficient. Now they're forced to move them around to their 140 pump houses in Metro Detroit, which begs the question. At this juncture, why not just leave two or three portable generators at the problematic locations? Well, my answer would be that they would be needed at different locations at different times and you do need specialized crew it's not like anybody can get just come in and flip on a switch like on your sump pump or something you have to have specialized technicians that operate those congresswoman debbie dingle says the state has asked the federal highway administration for a federal grant for approximately 20 generators and then last tuesday uh i got every member of the delegation to sign a letter supporting that grant. So there's reportedly help on the way. The question is, will it arrive before our next storm? From the freeways to the streets, there, there's obviously a problem. But somebody somewhere is and hasn't been doing their job for obviously now years. Like whether it's maybe these sewers need to be just completely gutted and cleaned or, you know, like how they're doing in Detroit in various places, digging it up and seeing what the heck is going on down there. All right, so here's the update for you. 94 westbound at 8 Mile is still closed, and the Southfield Freeway between Joy and Ford is still closed at this hour. I just had a chance to speak with Diane Cross with the uh, MDOT, who says that that is the current situation. But they are working as fast as they can to get those freeways open in both directions. Now, we did also ask why not just put one of the portable generators at every single location. And as you heard, it's very expensive. But that is something that they are currently working on. Hopefully they're able to get the funding in place and have some portable generators ready to go once we have more torrential downpour and some significant storms. For now, we're live in Dearborn Heights. I'm Hillary Golston, Fox 2 News.